My name is Adam Haas. Um, I went into teaching because um, I really, when I was younger, I really enjoyed uh, science and math, um, but I also found that I enjoyed working with, um, with younger kids. I tutored a little bit when I was in high school, um, and I really enjoyed it. So I went into uh, to teaching for my, uh, my major in college. Uh, I found out about Bright Ideas, I believe I got an email or it was online, something came through the county, um, or I think I saw a flyer, it was a while ago, so I don't remember exactly, but um, I, I saw it, so I just went online because I would never written a grant before, it was the first one I ever tried, and uh, I looked at the application process and it was a lot easier than I thought it would be, a lot more simple, so um, I went ahead and gave it a shot and I, uh, I won the first grant that I uh, applied for. So. I was super excited because uh, it got us microscopes and we don't have any of those in our school and a lot of schools don't and it was more exciting when the kids got to see them and they heard about it and um, the, the excitement of seeing them excited I think was the best part about it. Yeah, so this grant is it's, it's five or six different projects, one for each grade level that's specific to the age of the students and it goes along with science, technology, engineering and math. But the whole purpose is the students learn how to be critical thinkers. They learn how to problem solve, which is a skill that they, they really need. So um, some of the fourth graders are um, having to build bridges that hold a certain amount of weight and um, other grade levels are doing other projects. Um, but all of them have to do with being critical thinkers. The last grant that I did was, um, it, it takes place over all the grade levels. And the point of it is, is that a kindergartner who comes in will experience all the different activities about critical thinking um, every year, kindergarten through fifth grade. And then by the time that they leave, their critical thinking skills uh, should be um, extraordinary and they should be ready to, to tackle middle school and beyond. Yeah, I mean, I, like I said, the first time I did it, I was on the fence about it. And what I did was I, I find things that I need for my classroom and I, you know, I look through catalogs, find stuff that would really enhance students and make it easier to teach them because they're more excited about the materials. It doesn't take much. And then I just start thinking about uh, how I would use those materials and I come up with lesson plans and ideas and um, I just, I try to think outside the box. It's, it's, you gotta step away from you know, some of the websites and the internet and just kind of come up with your own idea. How would you want to be taught? And then uh, just put that together and, uh, and if, it's, if it's good enough, you get picked. Um, without union power, the students would not have the engaging experiences that they have. And for students, especially at our school, um, some of them may never get that chance if they don't do it here. They may not be able to go you know, all the way to Charlotte Discovery Place or you know, some of these other places. Uh, where they can experience microscopes or some of these materials that we have and they get to use. So the Bright Ideas grant has directly impacted the students in my classroom because, again, they have these experiences now. They, they, they get excited about STEM, they love coming to STEM, and as long as you can get that excitement, you can teach a kid pretty much anything. So um, because of the grant, these children are, are learning, they're becoming critical thinkers, problem solvers, um, and that's most important, they're learning how to think. They're not learning necessarily concepts, uh, which I hope they are, but more importantly, they're learning how to be thinkers and apply that thinking to real world situations. All right, you have to go apply for this grant because it's a lot easier than you think. Don't be scared, all right? Um, it's super simple, it's laid out nice and easy for you, and um, just don't go taking my grant, okay? You can, you can apply for it, but uh, don't, don't steal one from me next year, all right?